Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. Today we're going to look at relays, at what relays are, how you use them, and how you set them up on the system. So anyone can do this, you can relay any stream, you could relay a stream of another radio station, affiliated radio station, another presenter, anything really. So whilst anyone can relay a stream, we do advise you ask for permission from the radio station slash person, just so everyone's happy with what's going on and so no one's causing trouble. So on radio.co, it's really easy to set up a relay. All you need is two things. You need permission, but you also need the stream URL from that radio station. Once you have that, if you head over to your dashboard on the radio.co system, you want to hit media and then you want to go to relays. So you can see here, I've currently got no relays and what I'm going to do is add a new relay. So I'm going to hit add relay. I'm going to name it something. So this, I'm just going to call it Pete. That's my name. I'm going to paste the relay into here, which I copied earlier. And now I'm going to hit test connection, which will go green once it's uh, happy. And you can see that's gone green and it's showing it's working. So then you want to hit create and there's our relay done. Now, sometimes when you create a new relay, you'll get the red error message. This is to do with a head error. This sometimes comes from uh, the streaming server you're relaying. However, streams will sometimes still work with that error. So it is worth creating the relay if you know the stream is 100% working and then you can create relay, schedule it and test it that way. Another way to just check the stream is working is to go to the URL directly and, uh, and check it plays directly like that which this one does, so I know the stream's working. So now we've got the relay made, we're gonna to want to go ahead and schedule the relay. So to do this, we wanna go into schedule on your radio.co dashboard, and then we wanna pick a time slot for the relay, and then we wanna hit advanced to bring up this extra side panel. Once we're here, we're gonna hit live relay. We're gonna choose our relay. I've only got one, so it defaults to that, but if you need more, you just click here and choose it. We want to choose how long we want the relay on for, so I'm going to have it for 15 minutes at 3am and then we want to hit simply create event. So now we have the relay set up and scheduled, what happens if you want the relay to be say every few days? Simply click onto the relay and then you can choose how long you want the relay to repeat, so I'm going to choose every week for example and I want the relay to play on Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. Once I've done that and I'm happy with the time, the date and how often it's repeating, I'm just going to hit update event, confirm this, this is to confirm it's going to update all the events which follow it, confirm and as we can see the relays are now across each day. So that is relays, as you can see it's a really easy to use tool and gives you a great level of flexibility of relay multiple radio stations and presenters but having your listeners stay listening to your radio station. If you do need any help with setting up a relay or anything else, please do email us, help at radio.co. But until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.